What's going on guys, Dope for Show here, and today I want to talk about the Big Whip 4 release. I want to talk about how you can actually load Ableton files into Big Whip Studio. This is Ableton Live. This is a session I, I made a while ago. I'm using Ableton Live 11, and we're going to load this into Big Whip Studio 4 beta version 5. So we're just gonna play the track. So that's the track. So now we're gonna go over to Bitwiz Studio. And now we're going to load Ableton Session. So here you go. This is .als for Ableton Live Session. I'm gonna drag it over to this part of Bitwiz Studio. And here you go. So the layout is about the same as Ableton. So let's bring up Ableton right here. So here's the layout for Ableton. Here's also the uh, launcher view right here for Ableton. So you have the launcher. It's a little different, but you can just tab over and see it's a launcher. It's still the same elements. So now let's activate it and play it. So here we go. So there's two things I noticed immediately. Um, the most obvious is the sample chops in the container. The pitch information did not translate well from the Ableton session. So that's a big issue that needs to be fixed, obviously. And then there was something else, the um, snare. So if you notice, just watch over here. So you notice that, you know, there's a strike, the pads are striking, but nothing's loaded. And I didn't get flagged that I was missing the files. Usually Big Wiz Studio will let me know that I'm missing some files, but that's not the case. So if you go back to Ableton, again, listen. So I would recommend for Big Wiz to go ahead and fix the, the pitch information coming from uh, the container, whatever you want to call these, the drum machine. Um, but I have good faith in Bitwiz Studio. They are pretty good about fixing these bugs. Um, I've seen them fix issues that I noticed from importing sessions from FL Studio, and they did that pretty quickly. So I think this is going to be a really cool release, Bitwiz Studio 4. And I'm super excited about it. So I'm just hoping that they uh, notice this and, and have a good fix for this. Um, also, uh, viewers, if you are experiencing this issue, let me know in the comments uh, what kind of system are you using. And this, I'm using Windows 10 Home Edition, and I have a Focusrite Scarlett 4i4, and I'm using BitWiz Studio Beta 5. Uh, and the version of Ableton I saved in was uh, Ableton Live 11 uh, trial. I don't know if that makes a difference. Also, viewers, let me know in the comments if you find this video to be useful or helpful. Remember to share with your friends, like, and subscribe. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.